So you're a smart cookie. You've realized one of the best ways to make a million dollars is to take a little bit of cash and invest it in Alex Becker's crypto gaming recommendation. Well, me too, but we've hit a little bit of a snag because Alex Becker says that he has a list of 20 to 30 crypto projects that he thinks he could take one to $2 million and spread them across these projects and come out at the other side of the bull market with over a hundred million dollars of profit. But despite promising he's gonna release this list, he hasn't. And worse than that, he says on Twitter that he's been doing more seed round investing in gaming cryptos than ever before. And so he's left us on the sidelines waiting for this video while filling his own back. Enough is enough. We will not sit here and watch you get even richer, Alex Becker. So we spent the last couple of weeks breaking down Alex Becker's Twitter, his YouTube videos, both old and new, and finding his own personal crypto wallets to see what he's buying, what he's talking about buying, and formulating our best possible guess at these 20 to 30 tokens. And we've come across some incredible new crypto games in our research. So if you appreciate our effort, please hit that like button down below. Take off your sideline hat and let's jump. Awesome, so this is gonna be a longer style video, so we're gonna go straight to business. The list that you're about to see will comprise of 30 tokens. These tokens are broken down into three categories. Category one, these are the blue chips of the crypto gaming world that Alex Becker has heavily invested in or recommended in the past. It's almost impossible that these projects won't be profitable in the next bull market, but there's gonna be limited upside because their market caps are already quite big. The second category are tokens that you've probably heard Becker recommend before or hold in his own wallet, but these ones have much smaller market caps and therefore a lot more potential upside in the next gaming bull. And the third and final category of this list are the brand new crypto gaming tokens that weren't here last bull run. So this third category is going to be the most speculation on our behalf, but we know Becker has been saying that he's been doing seed round investing. And these are the ones that we could find that we think could be the ones that he's investing into. I'll tell you why as we get to that spot, but let's start with the big boys at the very top. At position 30 on this list, we have Cedify, which is the biggest crypto gaming launchpad, meaning they allow Cedify investors to get early access to upcoming crypto game tokens before the public does. They were massive in the bull market, and if you break down Alex Becker's recommendations in the past, you'll see that a lot, probably about 30 to 40% of his recommendations were literally just recommending what the next upcoming projects were on Cedify. As recent as his latest YouTube video, Alex Becker said, Cedify are an investment group that I really, really like. When the bull run takes off, Cedify will go nuts. The Cedify token is called S Fund and it was released in April of 2021. Its all time high price was $16.30 with a $349 million market cap. And its current price is just 59 cents with a $30 million market cap. 29. Number 29 on this list is Ultra. And Ultra in its simplest form is described as the Steam of Web3. They're a gaming development and distribution platform with a killer team and a very consistent track record. Becca highly recommended the Ultra token in the last bull run and even included it in his latest round of picks on his YouTube channel. The token is called Ultra, which was released in June of 2021 and had an all-time price of $2.35 per token and an all-time high market cap of $670 million. Its current price is just under $0.13 cents with a market cap of $43 million, which takes us to number 28 on this list, Gala. Gala is a Web3 gaming production company with a strong team. Now, if you're picking up a trend here, you know that Alex Becker loves production companies and gaming infrastructure over individual games. And that's why Gala has been a regular recommendation from Alex Becker as it produces multiple games and he says therefore has more utility and higher chances of hitting a bit. The Gala token is called Gala and it was released in March of 2021. It had an all-time high of 82 cents and an all-time high market cap, listen to this, of over six billion dollars. But right now it's sitting at just over one and a half cents with a $354 million market cap. Number 27 on this list, Alex Becker held a big bag of this token in the last bull run. It's called Netverse, which is in an immersive metaverse where you can hop into a battle royale game, shop online, sell your merch, or go to concerts and parties. Becker was actually an advisor to this project and owned a large chunk of their token and a very rare land NFT in their last bull run. And in his latest video, Alex said that Netverse are going to have a lot of hype whether the metaverse narrative picks up or not. Now, this is a very important sentence because if you've seen any of our videos before, you know that none of these valuations and even in the next bull market, none of these gains are going to be based on anything practical or real world just simply narratives. And so I won't go into too much detail in this video, but if you want to see the narrative-based trading strategy that's gonna get you 50X returns way more than any fundamental or technical analysis, I'll link the video up in the description below or in the card above for you. The network token was released in May of 2021, had an all-time high price of $7.33, and right now sits at just over six cents. Don't get that confused with six cents. 
At number 26 on this list, we have AdShare, which is a peer-to-peer -peer advertising network. You can think like the Google AdWords of Web3, where anybody can host ads on their own digital property and get paid for it. Now, Alex Becker was actually developing a company in this exact same niche about 18 months ago, but I think he's given that up in exchange for his new company. He does, however, frequently refer to AdShares as a great buy. So I'm betting it's gonna be on his list. The token of AdShares is called ADS and it was released in July of 2022. The all-time high price was just under $4 at a $135 million market cap, but right now you can get it at under 60 cents and a $22 million market cap, which takes us on to 25, which is quite a similar project to AdShares and you'll often see Becker recommending these two projects in the same sentence and that is Veracity. Veracity has the first patented ad tech protocol on the blockchain and it aims to reduce ad fraud through blockchain verification, which ad fraud apparently is an $80 billion a year problem. The token is called VRA, released way back in March of 2019. So an all time high price at just over eight cents and a $565 million market cap. But currently it sits at just under half a cent and a $42 million market cap. At number 24, you probably should have seen this one coming. That is Vulcan Forged because it's probably Alex Becker's most recommended crypto. Vulcan Forge are another gaming studio making multiple crypto games and Becker even mentioned them in his latest video. So I would be shocked if this one did not make his 2024 list. The token is called PYR and it was released in August of 2021. It had an all time high price of just under $50 and a market cap of 935 million, just under the billion. Right now the price is $3.86 and a market cap of $92 million. And that takes us to number 23 on this list, which is Sandbox. The Sandbox might be the blue chip of blue chips in the crypto gaming world. It's a Minecraft inspired crypto metaverse and Alex Beck has said nothing but high praise to Sandbox, except when referring to the fact that its market cap is already quite high. The native token of Sandbox is called Sand. It was released back in 2020 in August. It had an all time high price of $8.34 and this is why Becker talks about it, a 7.4 billion dollar market cap. These crazy numbers are what we get to look forward to in the next bull run. Right now it sits at just under a $700 million market cap and a 30 cent token. And that'll take us to number 22, another relatively high market cap in the crypto gaming world, IMX or Immutable X. Becker says Immutable X are perfectly positioned to become the underlying infrastructure for blockchain games. They're essentially a scaling solution for Ethereum, which Becker says solves a massive problem helping crypto games avoid Ethereum gas fee. Their token is called IMX, released in November of 2021. It had an all time high price of $9.52 and an all time high market cap of $1.7 billion. Its market cap is still pretty high at $623 million and its token price right now is 55 cents, which takes us to the last recommendation recommendation of the blue chip crypto games that I believe will be on Becker's 2024 millionaire making list. And that is Illuvium. Now Illuvium used to be just one game, but since Alex Becker has been recommended, they've actually pivoted into becoming a decentralized gaming studio. Illuvium are currently building an open world exploration game, an industrial city builder, and an auto battle. Their token is called ILV, and it was released in March of 2021. The all-time high price was just under $2,000, with an all-time high market cap of $1.2 billion, and the current price is $42, with a market cap of just under a quarter bill. Now, Alluvium is a very interesting one to have on this list for one reason. Have a look at this. Becker has been super bullish on this gaming studio because he used it in a recent example on his Twitter. He said, Alluvium is a game with a lot of hype and quality behind it. Great marketing and narrative. In a gaming run, it'll be a powerhouse. But this is where things get interesting because he continued, it's down 90%, a 50X back to its all time high. But as you saw in the tokenomics that we just went through, that's not true because a lot of people, including some very smart people like Alex Becker, make this mistake. And that's mistakenly looking at the price of the token and not the overall market cap when trying to determine the value of a project. Because when taking into account the dilution of the seed investor tokens that Alex Becker mentions in the exact same sentence of his tweet, the token is actually only down a 5X from its all time. Now we've seen Alex Becker make some similar mistakes before, like with Thetan Arena, not looking at how insane the dilution was and recommending that token at this spot only to have it do this. So I do highly recommend that you get some second opinions on these tokens before putting your hard earned money into them because not all of them are gonna be good. And you don't wanna be putting your money into the one that drops while everything else races and makes everyone else very wealthy because not 100% of these recommendations are gonna skyrocket in the next bull. And that's one of the biggest reasons why we created our Patreon. 
So we could take the time to break down individual tokens that Alex Becker is buying and recommending, get everybody in the community's thoughts on them, do an audit on them, and therefore give us the best chance of choosing the Alex Becker recommendations that are gonna perform the best. We review every single one of Alex Becker's recommendations as he buys them because we have wallet trackers, tracking his wallet, telling us when he buys so we can break down that token and decide if it's gonna be right for us. If that sounds like it might be a helpful tool for you, get yourself into our Patreon. The link is in the description below and we'd love to see you in there. Awesome, that takes us to the middle section the lower market cap crypto gaming recommendations that Alex Becker has either invested in or talked highly about in the past. They do have lower market cap, so there is a lot more upside here than in the blue chips we just went through. Starting with number 20, D-Race. Now, next to Vulcan Forge, this is probably Alex Becker's most recommended token. It's a digital horse breeding and racing game. The D-Race token has some strong utility and one of my favorite things, an almost fully diluted market cap. The token is called Dirk, and it was released in August of 2021. The all-time high price of Dirk was $8.26, with a all-time high market cap of $242 million. The current price is just over $0.15, cents, with a market cap of $17 million. Number 19 is called Altura, and Altura was one of Alex Becker's cleanest 10x calls in the last bull run. At that point, they were a pretty simple project. They made NFTs into smart NFTs. But throughout the bear market, they've been going through a total aesthetic and technical rebrand. And now they call themselves the ultimate platform for scaling and building Web3 games, which I know Alex Beck is gonna be a fan of because I know he loves infrastructure that allow these games to be built. The native token is called Alu and it was released in May of 2021. It had an all-time high price of 46 cents and an all-time high market cap of $282 million. Its current price is just over three cents with a $24 million market cap, which then takes us to number 18, Remark. Remark are a fantastic crypto gaming infrastructure who have also just gone through an aesthetic upgrade of both their website and their project. Put simply, Remark uncap the potential of an NFT, allowing you to make them infinitely complex. In his latest video on YouTube, Alex Becker said, I really like Remark and it's fully diluted already. Another pro. The token is also called Remark, released in September of 2021. Its all-time high price was $64.18. Its all-time high market cap was just over 500 million. And currently it sits at $1.58 and just $14 million market cap. Number 17, Star Atlas. Now this is a standalone strategy game. It's set in space and it's the first standalone game in this list. But Alex Becker recently said that Star Atlas is a good game and their market cap is way down. The native token is called Atlas, released in September of 2021. The all-time high price was 26 cents and the all-time high market cap was over $500 million. Right now, the price is this and the market cap is $51 million. Number 16, Sidus or Sidus Hero. Becker says that Sidus looks really good and he has invested in this token in the past. They're a metaverse gaming platform with three different games in development. The native token is called Sidus, released in 2021. It had an all-time high price of just under 20 cents and an all-time high market cap of 83 million. The current price is just over a tenth of a cent and the current market cap is $22 million at the time of this recording, which will take us over the halfway point of this list into something called Decentral Games. Now, Becker describes Decentral Games as the type of project that you want to be looking for because, of course, they are a portfolio of games and not a standalone. They've also integrated a lot of gambling mechanics, which is a big trend right now following the success of Rollbit. The token is called DG and it was released in December of 2021. Its all-time high price was just over 60 cents at an $80 million valuation. And currently, it sits at just under 2 cents with a $13 million valuation. Number 14, Treeverse. Becker says that Treeverse looks really good. Whenever I do this, it means that it's exact quote to Becker's hand. And Treeverse is a top-down, open-world, classless, MMORPG, massive multiplayer online role-playing game built for mobile with social features and an emphasis on cooperative gameplay. Treeverse don't currently have a token out, but they do have NFTs for their in-game assets and avatar. Number 13, this one is an interesting addition to the list. It's called Aurora, because despite being an older project with a token released in October of 2021, and Becker has never owned this token before, for the first time, he mentioned it in his latest YouTube video, saying that he likes the look of the project. Aurori described themselves as a next generation entertainment franchise anchored in innovative, free to play, interoperable gaming experiences. The token is called Ori, released in October 2021, like I said. Its all-time high price is $23.27, with a market cap just under the quarter bill. At the moment, the price is just under $0.50 cents a token and a market cap 
of just seven million dollars but do be careful with this one because we haven't been talking about dilution that much in this video there's a lot of dilution here to come but just by the fact that alex becker mentioned it for the first time in his last video i have a feeling it's going to pop up on his next list number 12 compete with a k compete is a gta inspired game that crypto god john recommended to alex becker on twitter Alex Becker liked this tweet, which skyrocketed the Compete token a 4x in the following three weeks. As far as we know, Becker has actually never held this token himself or spoken about it apart from liking that tweet. So this sort of is a half-court shot from us, but I know he really likes Crypto God John's recommendations and the market cap of Compete is quite low. So I sort of hope but think that this could also appear on Alex Becker's list. The all-time high of Compete was just over two and a half cents and the all-time high market cap was $15.5 million. The current price is just over one cent and a $7 million market. And that takes us to number 11 on this list, Big Time. Big Time are a free-to-play multiplayer action role-playing game that combines fast action combat and adventures through time and space. They have over 250,000 Twitter followers and some very interesting seed investors like our friend Sam Bankman fried and Ashton Kutcher. Now, Big Time also currently don't have a token, but all of its in-game assets are NFT based, which if you want exposure to some projects that don't have tokens yet, you can get into their NFTs, but please be careful doing this. Make sure you know what you're doing because if you buy something and there's infinite supply, you're gonna lose a lot of money. Okay, so that takes us to the third category on this list because Alex Becker says that he's been doing more seed round investing than ever before. So we scoured the crypto gaming community to feel out what it is that he could possibly be seed round investing into and came up with these 10 projects. Now, of course, this is getting into pure speculation mode because the only thing we're going on is Alex Becker saying that he's been doing seed round investing. He's never talked specifically about what projects and he's never done it through his crypto wallets that we track because tokens not live and on a decentralized exchange for us to track yet. He'd be investing off old school web two money. So please grain of salt with these ones, but I will explain why I think it's these tokens as we break them down. Let's get into it. Number 10, Seed World. So Seed World is founded and run by Seedify, the game at the top of this list that Alex Becker loves. They're a brand new project that describe themselves as a user-generated content gaming platform for crafting immersive experiences and enjoying others' creations. Play, build, collaborate, and monetize. The team has worked at renowned gaming companies such as Ubisoft, EB Games, Microsoft Studios, Marvel, Lucasfilm Games, and more. And since Becker is such a huge fan of Cedify, even getting most of his recommendations from Cedify, I can't imagine that this new project and token isn't popping up on Alex Becker's radar. There's currently no token out for Seed World yet, so we might be on the early side as we do assume with all the projects on the rest of this list that the token is coming soon. Seed World does, however, have some NFTs of Available if you want to get some exposure that way, but remember my words of warning from before. At number nine, we have imposters. Now, getting into some personal stuff now, I don't love the angle of this project. This is a blockchain copycat of the once popular Among Us, which in 2023 seems like an outdated game, but this has been created by Alex Becker's friend, Elliot Weinman. And not only is he Alex's friend, but he's the co founder of Neo Tokyo, Alex Becker's NFT project. Becker's also mentioned this project's token, which is called Blood, a couple of times on YouTube and Twitter, and so I feel like it has to be included in his next big list when he drops it which takes us to number eight dead drop and dead drop is a blockchain based game created by the one and only dr disrespect dr disrespect is one of the top gaming streamers in the entire world and actually who alex was inspired by when he put on his hoodie and glasses and became that crypto gaming personality people used to call him the dr disrespect ripper now this game dead drop is already massive in the streaming world alex beck has mentioned it both on youtube and on twitter and although there's no token out for dead drop yet it is a blockchain based game with in-game assets stored as nft so we're assuming the token is likely to come soon which if you find it annoying having all these tokens dropping at different times and having to be on twitter 24 7 trying to track these things remember to join us in patreon because we'll keep track of these things for you and just notify when it's time to participate as a bonus token that i'm not actually including in this list of 30 that is almost guaranteed to be appearing on alex becker's next list is a project called portal now portal aimed to become the underlying currency that backs all these other crypto games and why it came across our desk is because alex becker actually reached out to the founders of Portal inquiring to ask some questions about the project before including it in their video, which is the video that's never come out yet. But this is why I'm telling you the story. About two weeks ago, Portal opened their registration for their token preset. I bet you didn't know about it, but our Patreon community did. So if you wanted to stop missing out on some of these opportunities, once again, link to the Patreon is in the description below. And that takes us to number eight, 
Passage provides an ecosystem for building and connecting virtual and physical experience through creator-built games. On its face, Passage is a social network, but under the hood, it's an open world-building platform with invisible infrastructure for connecting digital metaverse experience. It's built with Cosmos and Passage is blockchain agnostic. It offers a suite of tools to make virtual worlds more accessible, in-browser streaming, cross-world commerce for fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens, social functionality and 3D communication infrastructure. We speculate that this is going to be on Alex Becker's next list of tokens because one, it looks like a really good project. Two, they had a very recent seed round, which correlates to the time that Alex Becker said that he's been doing some seed round investing. And three, Elliot Weinman, the guy we talked about before from the Imposters Project, Alex Becker's friend and Neo Tokyo co-founder, follows them on Twitter meaning it's probably made its way across Alex Becker's desk. And talking about Alex Becker's desk, the next two recommendations that we believe are gonna be on Alex Becker's list are very, very likely to have come across Alex Becker's desk slash radar because the founders of these next two games are actually Neo Tokyo citizens themselves and are likely using the Neo Tokyo community to help launch their game. So the first one is called Helix Metaverse. And Helix described themselves as the world's most immersive metaverse. They have phenomenal graphics, a GTA style feel, and have created a fully open world, one-to-one -one scale Manhattan Island with Unreal Engine and real world street data from OpenStreetMap. We assume there's a token coming out here soon, but right now all they have is in-game NFT asset. And that other paper on Alex Becker's desk is called Valeria Game, which is a free-to-play real-time strategy game built on Immutable X and set to be released on iOS and Android. In this game, players will summon, train, evolve, and battle with their Valerians as they progress through the story, participate in player versus player matches, quests, dungeons, survival mode, and tournaments. They currently have a very strong NFT project out there with an NFT market cap using the floor price times the amount of NFTs that they have of $4.5 million. So we'll keep our ear to the ground for a token drop there. Now the next four tokens on this list, not only are the founders in Neo Tokyo like the last two, but they've used Citizen Capital, the launch pad inside of Neo Tokyo, basically what Cedify does outside. They've taken the Cedify idea and help people launch their games inside Neo Tokyo and call it Citizen Capital. You're allowing Neo Tokyo citizens to get early access to these projects, including Alex Becker himself. So I'm sure that he's seen these upcoming crypto games and possibly invested in them. One, supporting games in his own community and two, potentially getting a pretty hefty payday. Those four games are Arcade to Earn, Infrastructure that connects gamers, game developers, guilds, and metagame. Planet Mojo, redefining player versus player auto chess battlers. They actually have over 100,000 followers on Twitter. Supra Oracle, a project that is designed to remove the need for bridges in Web3. These guys actually have over 200,000 people following them on Twitter. And of course, started as a citizen capital funded project. And lastly, Heroes of Mavia. They've created a new Web3 game that scales to millions of players, allowing both free to play and NFT players to participate and game. This game also works seamlessly on mobile. And finally, the last token, on this speculation filled, but lots of research filled as well, crypto gaming list that we think Alex Becker is gonna come out with to make millionaires in 2024. The same tokens that he's gonna try and ride from 1 million to 100 million. This last token is a bit of a half court shot as well. Honestly, it's a little bit of hopium on our behalf to think that he might include this one, but as far as I'm concerned, he's never heard about it or seen it in his life. But in terms of gameplay, it's an insanely impressive project. And that is Army of Fortune. It's an unprecedented combination of gaming metaverse, gaming studio, base building, merging, hero collecting, and RTS battling games on the blockchain. The team behind Army of Fortune are the original team at Supercell a Finnish gaming company that made almost $2 billion of revenue in 2021. Their marketing is on point, and even the TikTok accounts for their in-game characters have millions of followers on TikTok. They've already released their in-game token, which if you know anything about tokenomics, the in-game token's not really the one you wanna buy. You probably wanna wait for the governance token just because of dilution, but it's currently priced at this number and has a circulating supply of $1.4 million. Now remember, if you wanna stay on top of the newest tokens, Make sure you're not mistakenly buying the wrong tokens and even find out how to buy into what could be the equivalent of an Alex Becker index fund where instead of tracking hundreds of different tokens, hundreds of different projects, buys, sells, taxes, transaction fees, 
You literally just have to buy this one thing and you'll probably ride the average return of the crypto gaming market. Come and join us on Patreon and then go watch our video where we broke down every single token on this list and revealed what that index fund of Alex Becker recommendations is. It'll be the latest video on that Patreon. And remember, you'll also get access to the Alex Becker wallet tracker, meaning you will get alerted whenever Alex Becker buys a new crypto project exactly when he buys it, of course, from a decentralized exchange, giving you an advantage in the next bull market of not having to wait until he tweets about it to his millions of followers and they get in before you. If you want that competitive edge, we'd love to have you in there. Link is in the description below. If you don't want a competitive edge, totally fine. I'll see you in the next video.